again and this will be the final video in our series about colour and getting colour correct. We've already done sRGB, we've covered um, how to calibrate your monitor, there's a link up there in the, in, the, uh, in the corner. But if you want to calibrate a projector, like I've got one hanging down from the ceiling here, you have to do something slightly different. Now we're still going to use the same tool, we're still going to use this, um, this X-Rite Colour Monkey monitor and uh, projector calibrator, we're going to use it in a slightly different way. Now there are lots of other products on the, available, on the market available. I use Colour Monkey. I'm not paid by Colour Monkey, um, but I, they, they are a, a reasonable product at a reasonable price. I think this costs about £120. Um, what I will say before we get going on this as well is, um, obviously I'm using a, a projector screen here. I'm going to show you how to calibrate that. Normally, I have dimmed the lights in here a little bit, but normally I would do this in the dark. Um, not because I enjoy tripping over cables, but because when you've got a light room and, and you've got all this ambient light, it can interfere with the, uh, the screen. You want the screen to be uh, displaying the images pretty much as you would be when you were using that projector. So I've got the lights, I've got them dimmed at the front here, but I've got them on so you can see what I'm talking about and see what I'm doing. So the first thing we need to do, we need to come into the um, Color Monkey software. We obviously we need to plug in our, uh, our Color Monkey and obviously we need to plug in our projector. So I've actually got a cable from this projector into, into my Mac. I don't normally use my Mac with this projector, um, but I, I've just, so I've just chucked a cable in for now. Um, it works perfectly. Then we'd start our software. Now, if you remember from last time, we picked the top menu option to profile our display. This time we're gonna pick the second menu option, which is to profile a projector. Straight away, it works out there is a projector attached to this, to this uh, computer and it's uh, an NPM, whatever it is, uh, which is that NEC uh, short throw up there. I'm going to bob on next and we're going to do an advanced one. Easy one's easy. So let's do the advanced one. There's a couple more options. First, we're going to choose what the target white point is. That's going to be going to leave that as native. Next thing we're going to do is we've got to place our color monkey in the right location. Now I've got a, I've got a tripod sat here. Um, and I'm just going to balance it on the tripod there like that. Let's see if I can do that. Let's try and, uh, and, and do that. Not always the easiest thing to do. I should have thought about this a bit more beforehand. There we go, that'll do. And I'm pointing it at this screen. There. Now, I could probably point it up a little bit more. There we go. And it wants us to have it. It says it on the screen, you can see that. It wants us to have it no closer than three times the height of the screen. That's about one times the height, so that'll be fine. And it's roughly aligned and, it, and it's pointing at the middle of the screen. I think that'll be okay, let's give it a go. Now the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna take a look at that, at that white patch. And, it, and it's, what's happening now is the device is looking for that white box. It's, that white box is moving around. It's making sure that it can see it all. It's seen it and it's continued onto the profiling activity. This is gonna take a few minutes. So let's speed it up and get to the end because what it's doing is it is just flashing, flashing, flashing colour at that screen and it, it takes a while and every colour that's being flashed on that screen, the little sensor in the, uh, in the um, calibrator is looking at that colour, knowing what colour is being sent to that monitor and then trying to receive that same colour back and where it can't, there'll be a difference, it'll, it'll adjust for that difference and it will um, in, in time, it takes about five minutes as I say, in time it will work out all those differences and come up with a colour profile. Let's get to the end of this as quickly as we can. we go we finished so it's asked us for to save that profile it's given profile name based on the, the the screen name which is the projector's name and then the date so we're going to save that we'll just take a moment to save that profile <coughs> profile completes go to the next screen it will show us the before and the after so we can see that immediately on our, on our screen. We can't really see all, all, all the way on, on here because it's a bit light in here to be, to be using a projector, but you can see the difference actually in the, in the screens. Now that is not, 
I will just say this once again, that is not a representative calibration because I've got the lights on in here. So really I would drop the lights off and, and then run that calibration again um, to do it properly. But obviously if I turn the lights off, then you can't see what I'm doing. So I hope that has been a useful video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.